Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 17, and this is war number 3. And we're going up against an alliance called Aiding the Resistance. So, I was doing some questing with Omega Red earlier, so that's why you see he's not available initially. But I am going in with my Omega Red as usual. Uh, he is just a beast of a champion. Uh, very useful. So, I take path 1 in section 1. And that path is Starburst. Now, in section 1, it's a pretty easy path. Uh, you see that they did not place a defender. And my first fight is going to be Hela. I had a little case of deja vu. I actually uh, started recording this. And then I went, wait a minute, did I get the wrong footage? Because if you watch the last war, it was the exact same thing. No defender on that first node and Hela uh, on the second node. So I was worried that I had mixed up the footage because I keep saying I'm not going to do this, but I'll sometimes record all the footage for like several wars and then I'll go back and edit them and try to narrate over them. And of course, by that time, I may have forgotten uh, what I was doing or anything like that, but we're doing good so far. Uh, this war just happened, uh, so we're in good shape. All right, so just like the last war, uh, this Hela, not a problem. Uh, Gladiator Hulk is just king on this path. I have not met anyone yet that can beat Gladiator Hulk on this path. There have been some uh, difficult fights, but uh, he's prevailed every single time. Have never died uh, fighting with Gladiator Hulk on this path. Uh, I've messed up a few times, but with that face me active, doesn't matter. Uh, I've taken hits that would have normally put me down to about a third of my health after one combo. But with him, he comes out smelling like roses. All right, so again, I don't take this first uh, mini boss. One of my alliance mates, he already brings champions that can handle that path and that mini node. So he goes ahead and takes that guy. Then we discuss who's going to take the next minis. And we try to match it up uh, with people who have the right counters and the skill in order to do that. We're actually making a push uh, this season trying to get our you know tier up and hopefully get back into platinum but we may not make it we'll see all right so i take section uh in section two i take path two and as i mentioned in my last video we did go up a tier so if you remember this fight before was not empowered immunity because we were uh too low in the tier but we actually won and so our tier has gone up and so now i'm dealing with empowered immunity not a big deal. Uh, we used to be, you know, high tier already, so I'm familiar with it. Uh, but it li at least it shows that we are making progress. We're, we're moving on up. Yeah, moving on up to the east side. Uh, anyway, so we're fighting against this Namor. He's very easy to fight. I remember when he first came out, we were worried that he would get that special three and just start wrecking us. But uh, we understand how he works now. And I fired off a special two, not worried about the empowered immunity because he's not immune to shock. So you kind of want to put folks that are immune on this uh, path. Uh, that way, you know, depending on who they bring in, they're going to have to be very careful. You know, if you bring in somebody that's immune to bleed and poison, then that means I really don't want to fight them with a champion that relies on bleed or poison. So you kind of make them make a decision. You know, they got to choose. All right, so now uh, I don't take that one either. Uh, didn't have the champs for it. Uh, my other alliance mates did. You know, it varies from war to war. Okay, but I was asked to help with this Doom on that mini. Now, at this point in time, we're winning the war, all right? And uh, they went in, you see uh, there was someone else. Uh, he had gone in, 
and did some good work on Doom in one try. I do not do well with power gain nodes. Uh, I tend to be impatient. Uh, I hate that I have to slow down my pace. And unless I have a power control champion, this fight can be very challenging. Okay. And uh, I wanted to try it out. They tagged me and they said, you know, uh, if one of you guys want to get them down, we're ahead. Uh, so shouldn't be uh, too big of a deal, right? So I said, all right, I'll do it. Uh, so I'm boosting up and I'm going to take in my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Uh, this time I did remember to heal him and then use the health boost. Uh, that way I'm not losing out, okay? Um, but... Uh, as you can see, we've got two people that were already there. Uh, but I'm like, all right, you know, I know I can get him down. Uh, the question is, how much pain is it going to cause me? Uh, I have soloed Doom on the mini to the right, which is like stun immune, um, uh, debuff immune, and all that good stuff. I've actually managed to solo uh, Doom over there with Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Uh, but this power gain node, I just don't do well with it. Uh, but I wanted to give this a try. And uh, it'll be an educational experience, all right? So because I don't have Blade, I'm trying to build up poise charges, okay? And you see he's being aggressive. Now, the problem with doing it this way is by the time I get some decent poise charges up, I'm already in the corner. Okay, and I can't fight my way out because of the power gain. I don't want to push him to a special two. So now I'm in trouble. All right, I'm all the way in the corner. Look at this. You know, this is rough. And I can't fight out of the corner here. You know, I tried to power drain him, of course. That didn't work. He backslapped me. And I'm just stuck in the corner here. All right, so this time I just pushed him to a special two because I needed some space. Okay, and he got me still. On the special two, I do not know how to evade that. Okay, so now I'm back in the corner again. Boom. Done. You know, not a lot that I can do in that situation. I started off the fight on the defensive. I couldn't fight my way out of the corner because if you push him too far, he's going to get that special. It is what it is, okay? Um, and you can see I'm paused here because I'm like, okay, I'm asking them, uh, I'm already boosted up. Do you guys want me uh, to continue? Because we're in good shape. And, of course, I want to have some more goes at him. Uh, I don't like losing, and I know I can beat him. Uh, but the question is, how many times am I going to have to go at him before I can get him down? Okay, so I'm asking that. But then a thought came to me. I had taken the invulnerability boost and no one was responding to me just yet so i said you know what let me go in here check that uh boost see if i still have it going all right i looked yep still have it you know some seconds left on it um so i said you know what i'm just gonna go ahead so i unset my message and went in here with omega red now, I've never fought Doom with Omega Red, okay? So the only thing I'm thinking here is stay out of the corner. Try to bait that special and stay out of the corner, okay? Um, evade that special one, messed up there, all right? But all I'm trying to do is stay out of the corner so that what happened last time doesn't happen again. And you can see he's being aggressive. This is a very good placement for Doom. Anybody that has fought Doom on this node knows that it is difficult he's a tough opponent and i messed up there again power gain pushed him to his special two and then got wrecked uh if i can get that special two because it is evadable the special two is completely evadable i've done it so if i can just practice that and get that special two down that fight becomes far easier i can already evade the special one most of the time Still make some mistakes on that. 
but that special two is difficult. I often get clipped at the end or um, I get tagged in the beginning. Something happens. All right, so this fight here, um, we're already down um, with the attack bonuses, so it doesn't matter. And I just want to get this guy down. So at this point, I'm just trying to warm up, get used to um, uh, uh, his, you know, evading the special and slow playing it. You see how I'm doing here? You know, one, two. See, I, I can't fight the way I normally fight. You guys know that I like to fight aggressively. This style here is stressful to me. Okay, it's very stressful. Look at this. And that's it. You know, I can just tag it and then I gotta evade and then I gotta, you know, bait. And then one, two, three. I got three in there and now I got to evade. And then one, two, and that's all I can do. Now I gotta bait it out again and evade. It's just a very annoying fight unless you have some form of power control. So one of the things that I determined during uh, these attempts, and you see that I just kind of messed up, all right? And then I evaded the first part and then got caught with the second. Uh, what I've learned is that the champions that I have, Starkey is the best option to fight Doom, but not on that power gain, not for me. Other people can use uh, Starkey uh, and take Doom down without difficulty, but because of the power gain, I don't do well with the power gain. And uh, since I don't know how to evade his special two all that well, just it's a it's setting me up to make mistakes. The fight's gonna be long, and I don't like long fights. I tend to lose focus and make mistakes. So this time I went ahead and used up a, a team revive. I had a couple of those uh, expiring. And I'm like, okay, we're going to get him down this time. Not going to have what happened that first time happen again. Okay, so you see that I'm not trying to build up poise charges. Okay, was not trying to do that. And uh, we just you just went in. Now we're trying to bait out that special one. All right, and here we go. Evade, no problem. Look at that. Boom, another evade. And we're just slow playing it. But, because Starkey does so much damage, it's not quite as bad. The fight won't be as long, because those one, two hits take him out. Okay? So, we finally got that Doom down. Wasn't the prettiest, but we did manage to get him down. Alright? And, uh, again, we were ahead in war. I think after this, we were tied up. So, all that's left now is to wait and find out how we did in this war. And as you can see, we won this war as well. So that is three wars won in a row. Uh, our tier went up, and I believe if we win the next war, we're going to be back in platinum. Uh, that is the hope. It's still early in the season but we'll at least be playing at that platinum level. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.